couple is now accused of taking part in the January 6th domestic terror attack on the U.S. Capitol. And the FBI says it identified the couple through a combination of text messages and pictures. Christian Hauser tells us the FBI has evidence that the attack was planned for months. A neighbor who wishes to remain anonymous sent us this video of the couple being arrested by the FBI. Mrs. Parker, step out the front door, take direction from the agent. Moments later, the couple are taken into custody. Court documents show they planned a trip to the Capitol on January 6th. Investigators say they were talking with another person from Champaign County who's associated with the Oath Keepers militia. Benny is said to have stayed outside, but still on the Capitol grounds, while Sandra's accused of going inside the Capitol. The charging affidavit includes this picture, which the FBI says shows Sandra inside. The documents go on to say the couple can be seen in numerous other videos from the Capitol and at a D.C. area hotel. Investigators also go into detail about text messages in which the couple discusses going to D.C. and uniforms, gear, and weapons they would bring. The documents also claim to show Benny asking about becoming a member of the Oath Keepers and extremist militia. I talked with Heidi Byrick, co-founder of the Global Project Against Hate and Extremism, about these growing militias. She says they lure people in with things like supporting the Constitution and patriotism. Those are themes that normal people obviously could care about, right? I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong about loving your country and caring about the Constitution. But what happens is you get introduced to these groups with ideas like that, and then slowly but surely, people are radicalized into much more extreme positions. And again, that was Local 12's Christian Hauser. The couple has been released from jail on a promise to return to court. The Parkers are the latest of the more than 200 people identified in connection to the Capitol insurrection, which left five people dead, including a U.S. Capitol Police officer.